This is a very special place and it has a very special origin story. It was very fortunate one day we were up in the attic and I came across this scrapbook. It goes right back to when the village was just an idea back in the end of 1953 and early 1954. It's been uh, three and a half years in the making. Yeah. Um, we got the idea for it originally, um, and it's in the film, you'll see us, an old scrapbook uh, that we found in the attic when we were cleaning the attic before we renovated the gift shop. And it has almost every single time uh, the village was in a newspaper, uh, when uh, the idea came into uh, existence, the construction, the grand opening, and uh, that allowed us to really delve deeper and deeper into the history uh, of the place. Um, and it, I just think it's a story that needed to be told because it's hard to find another example of a business that's, that's survived for, um, it'll be next year, it'll be our 70th anniversary, a business that was built by uh, the community. Um, I think there were 400 shareholders at one time and then that same community kept the place alive for going on 70 years mm -hmm. uh, and um, and it's it's just such a you just don't hear about these things uh, you know being created and and um, uh, and then continuing like like this uh, this business has it has been the fabric of our community it's been the fabric of Muskoka for 70 years and the connection uh, that people have to the village where you know so many uh, family memories uh, have been uh, created by you know the days of attending the village as a young person and many uh, now parents bring their kids back to the village uh, I can tell you too that just the folks in Bracebridge have such a strong connection to the village as well so many people have got their first job there have been connected to the village myself and my family my wife worked there my both my kids worked there um, my wife's family, including her grandmother, worked at the village. So, very strong connection to the village. I remember as a young person who wasn't from Bracebridge but came here uh, with my family back in the late 60s to visit Santa's Village. And I tell you, I still have those photos of visiting Santa's Village and the cherished memories that we have. So, you know, we're really excited as a community. Um, Brad and Sarah Dunkley have put such a great uh, focus on bringing back those memories to Santa's Village. They have done such a great job in bringing Santa's Village to the 21st century. There's so many exciting things happening in the village. And today's, um, you know, uh, wonderful village documentary is just going to be uh, another exciting opportunity, another exciting moment in the history of the village that will carry us remembering the past of the village and carrying us on to the future. And the future is quickly coming close as Brad gives a bit of a preview of what to expect with some new rides. Uh, uh, we will have these rides this summer and it's, uh, people may remember Sportsland. Uh, Sportsland, which uh, was also featured in the documentary, uh, opened uh, in the early 90s. And that is being reimagined as a place called Wild Ridge uh, that'll really um, allow our customers to connect with, uh, you know, the, the beautiful pines and being close to the, um, uh, the riverfront there with some rides that um, are really uh, nature-based uh, and um, uh, anyways look forward to unveiling that uh, later this season.